8. Everyday Habits That Keep Your Body From Turning Fat Into Energy Number 8. Perfectionism This is a well-known habit, just like smoking or a daily glass of wine. It's not the same thing as striving to be the best or to be healthy. In the case of losing weight, most people use this habit as an excuse to not do the right things for their body. This habit constantly sets people up for shame and judgment from themselves. Here's a perfect example. Let's say that you eat perfectly and exercise on Tuesday, but then Wednesday, you eat a chocolate bar and miss your workout. Instead of telling yourself, well, I ruined my diet today, may as well keep going. Try telling yourself, next time, I'm going to make better choices since I want to feel and look my best. It's important to remember that we're all human. Not one of us in the world is perfect. If you cheat on your diet or skip a workout, do not beat yourself up about it. Learn from your mistake and grow from it. Remember, tomorrow is a new day. Don't put impossible expectations on yourself. Be proud of how far you've come as well as how you grow from your mistakes. Number seven, over-exercising. There is such a thing as too much exercise. Certain forms of exercise can trigger excess amounts of cortisol, which break down lean muscle tissue. Cortisol also blocks your growth hormone, which is one of your fat-burning hormones. Growth hormones keep your cells happy by killing free radicals. Your fat cells love when there are many free radicals because your fat cells live off of inflammation. So you don't have to always overdo it. It's best to try and exercise with certain time limits. This helps your body get the rest it needs and it will also prevent you from sustaining an injury. Remember, your body needs time to recover. If you overdo it and exercise too much, without giving your body enough recovery time and rest, you will feel the effects. You'll start to lose your energy and may even develop an injury. Our muscles and bodies need time to heal. This is why rest is so important. In addition to this, if you are exercising, you also need to make sure that you are getting enough sleep. Our bodies recover and heal while we're sleeping. If you are not getting adequate sleep, your body will not be able to heal normally, which can result in lower energy levels. Number six, laziness. Your fat cells only flourish if your body is not constantly mobile. Without any form of exercise, there is very little fat-releasing lipolytic enzymes to compete with the fat cells. One of the only factors that influences lipolytic enzymes to release fat is physical activity. Our bodies are meant to always be moving so that we can become flexible and strong. This will also help you in the long run when you begin to age. If you are inactive and spend most of your days sitting down, then you may find that you are unmotivated to move around and stay active. Having an active lifestyle that includes exercise is extremely important. And not only for our physical well-being, an active and healthy lifestyle can also help improve your mental health too. It is a known fact that exercise releases endorphins, which are hormones that not only reduce pain, but also trigger feelings of happiness and positivity in a person's brain. Exercise is a great way to improve your overall health as well as improve your mental health. And once you start becoming active, you will want to continue living an active lifestyle after you see all the positive effects it has on your life. So give exercise a shot. What do you think about these everyday habits? Keep watching to find out some even more surprising everyday habits that keep your body from turning fat into energy. Number five, low carb intake. By trying to cut carbs, you're not doing your metabolism any favors. It causes it to become slow and sluggish and will almost certainly cause you to gain weight, which will be almost impossible to lose without carbs. Carbs are your brain and your cell's main fuel source. So cutting them out will not only slow your metabolism, but also hinder your overall performance. It's not the carbs that are the problem. It's the type of carbs that are consumed. Try to eat carbs that do not spike insulin, like fruits and vegetables. Number four, high PUFA intake. 
PUFA stands for polyunsaturated fatty acids, which are unsaturated vegetable oils. These oils damage your metabolism more than you'll ever realize. Oils like peanut, safflower, soybean, sunflower, and canola slow down your thyroid by blocking your mitochondrial respiration. The reason your thyroid is slow is because these oils cause cellular inflammation. And when a fat cell is inflamed, it is a happy cell, and a happy fat cell is not going anywhere anytime soon. Number three, skipping meals. Many people think that if you skip meals, it will help you lose weight. But in reality, it's the exact opposite. By skipping meals, you're actually lowering your metabolic rate and will gain more fat. But if you eat high quality, nutritious food that keeps your blood sugar and hormones happy, your metabolism will become strong and stable. This can lead to burning fat and even putting on lean muscle. Skipping meals also tends to lead to overeating. If you skip breakfast and then lunch, you are more likely to binge on snacks that are bad for you late at night because you've depleted your body of its energy throughout the day. This will lead to a cycle of binge eating, which will not only affect your physical health, but will also affect your mental health. Number two, overeating. In this case, most people who are overeating are doing so with unhealthy food. When you eat more calories than your body needs, your fat storing enzymes are activated. Despite making your fat cells happy by overeating, the issue is that not all calories are created equal. When you consume high quality, nutritious food, you're less likely to overeat because your body feels nourished. Junk food like chips and cookies will never satisfy your body, so it will keep asking for more. Number one, dieting. In simple terms, diets do not work. In most cases, people who diet will either be unsuccessful with it, causing stress, frustration, and loss of motivation, or they are successful with it, but damage their body in the process. The best solution is to continue to eat the delicious foods you like, but also find out how you can also manage your weight while still eating those foods. It's not impossible. Many people do it every day. One of the best pieces of advice you can listen to when it comes to diet advice is that you should do everything in moderation. If you want to eat healthy or are trying to lose weight, you don't have to kiss pizza and chocolate goodbye. All you have to do is eat those foods in moderation and incorporate them into a nutrient-rich diet. As long as you are burning more calories every day than you are eating, then you will lose weight. So if you can eat a few cookies and still stay within that calorie deficit, you can still enjoy your favorite foods. Don't let dieting take over your life and make you feel hopeless. Everything in moderation. How we pick ourselves up when we fall down determines our character and our strength. So don't strive to be perfect. This will take up too much of your energy and may just end up making you feel even worse about yourself. Burning calories and maintaining your weight is no easy task. For years, research has indicated that the amount of calories you consume and burn off is how to manage your weight. Unfortunately, that is no longer the case. There are, in fact, different everyday habits that can keep a person's body from turning fat into energy. For example, you have it set in your mind that consuming only a thousand calories a day will help you lose weight. So you focus on that number all day long and plan all your activities around that number. Unfortunately, this can become stressful and self-destructive. This is why nutritionists are beginning to inform people that it is time to stop burning calories and start burning habits. Research has shown that there are many different habits that people who are unsuccessful with losing weight just can't shake. What are some other everyday habits that you think keep your body from turning fat into energy? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left,
or write video and enjoy. 